first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. The Cavaliers with a game three opportunity to dig themselves out of a two nothing hole. They will need to bring all they can muster against Charlotte. Round one of the NBA playoffs continues. All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to this My NBA career and we are currently up two games to nothing over the three seeded Cavaliers and if you did watch last episode you would know that during that game I did up the Cavaliers and the CPU sliders up to 72 they were on 65 I now up inside and close shot 72 I upgraded mid-range to 68 and layup success to 65 and if you don't know my user settings are all on 45 or below besides the three-point success which is on 55 uh, so, the Cavaliers might take a game here in Charlotte. Let's see if we can continue our dominance as the best defense in the league, which we were during the regular season. We were the best defense in the league, and the Cavs were a top 10 offense, so this is just a great matchup all around. As you can see, the rest of the league and the playoff picture, Heat are up 2-0, Celtics are up 2-0, Sixers and Atlanta are tied 1-1, Portland OKC tied 1-1, Memphis is up 2-0, LA Clippers are up 2-0 and the Kings and Mavericks my face is blocking the Mavericks but the Mavericks are the one seed they are tied at one a piece as well and next episode I will not forget to use Synergy 2k I put in the first two playoff games in Synergy 2k so the beginning of the next episode I will have the upgrades I won't forget I promise hopefully anyways without further ado let's hop into game three at Charlotte in our home city our home court and see if we can get another big win and go up three games to nothing over the third seed the cavaliers here we are game three of this eastern conference first round cavaliers hornets let's get it going i did make a lineup change i'm not sure if they're going to show these starting lineups but i did put i believe it's brandon boston in the starting shooting guard position he was in the g league all year he's up to like a 78 overall i believe and Yuta Watanabe was not uh, getting it going. He was not doing anything. So we benched him. Brandon Boston's got better defense. He's got better defense and a similar three-point rating. I'm just going to pull that. Ooh, bad release, bad release. But yeah, Brandon Boston will be getting the start here. His first game, honestly, of this season. And it's in a game three of the playoffs. Don Mitchell starting off with a brick. Immediate miss for the Cavaliers and give that up to LaMelo Ball what a pass back that was beautiful going straight to the paint I can't because uh Nick Richards led uh, Evan Mobley Jared Allen my bad to the paint but LaMelo Ball starts it off with the three Donovan Mitchell and the Cavs are off to a great start this game sliders are working in their favor a bit wide up yeah I need to work on not releasing it so early I am one for four, I believe, so far tonight. Not off to a great start. Cannot get a steal. Isaac Coral, ain't no way. Yeah, that's off. But yeah, I need to work on not releasing that shot early. I got Garland on me. I gotta, I gotta take advantage of this. But knowing 2K, it's not gonna let me do much. I get fouled though, so I'll take it. So so far, the interior defense has been non-existent in this game three. They're just getting whatever they want. Lamelo Ball. Is just also doing whatever he wants. Two missed threes now in this game after making that first one. Has not made a shot since. That's a decent shot from Okoro, but it's going to be off. Lamelo, kick it down to me. Pump fake. He did not bite on it. I am not going to do that because Jared Allen is right there. They're going to set a screen. Oh, Brandon Boston, first shot. And it's off. Come on, man. If that's Yuta, he probably hits that, even though he was one for eight last game. We need a shooter. I need someone. How do we keep getting that switch? How do they keep getting that switch? And it's an and one. What do we... How does that happen? How did they get that switch? I'm getting subbed out. That can't be happening. And that's going to be good. I have a feeling we're going to be down big coming back into the game. Nope. Tie game. Our bench has been our saving grace this series. That should be green. And it is. Cedric Lewis from downtown hits the contested shot two for seven in that first quarter now three for eight Struggling in this game cannot have a repeat performance of game one shooting 11 for 30 from the field Isaac Coro coming off the screen Jared Allen now has Jeremy Grant on him not the matchup we want 
There is Garland. Gets wide open and throws up an easy floater. It's off, though. There is Garland with the miss. I'm going right to the paint. I got Garland on me. That should be easy. And it's not going to be somehow. I got the offensive rebound. And I'm getting fouled. Oh, on the break. Come on, pass that. Good job, Jeremy Grant. I almost called you Jerry's Garland. We extend the lead of five. Four for ten now on the night for Cedric Lewis. I got to try and catch fire a little bit. Because if we're going to beat this team with these sliders, I cannot be shooting poorly. And I cannot be trying to force myself to get steals. Because that's just going to leave them wide open. Another thing is I have, I have no choice sometimes but to help on stuff like that. Because it's just going to be an easy bucket. Great defense, but no one's there for the rebound. Nick Richards with the block, but I wasn't there, and it's a shot clock violation. What a fantastic defensive possession from the Hornets and Nick Richards. What a bright spot Nick Richards has been for this Hornets team, and he deserves to be rewarded a little bit if possible. Let's see if we can get him open on this play, and we are. Nick Richards in the paint throws up a wild shot, man, instead of going straight up with it and misses. Brandon Boston, can he redeem himself from downtown? And he doesn't. Jer no, I said Jared Allen. Uh, DeAndre Ayton with the rebound. Let's try and score here. What happened? Why did my character do that? That sh That's okay. I got fouled. That should have been a bucket. 2K did a thing where they changed my shot in the air. And they should have. Luckily, I get fouled. Give me that. 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 What is happening? How did I not get that one? Oh, my God. This game. Bro. That's actually crazy. Allen. Not Allen. Aiton, please. He's going to hit that too, isn't he? That's nuts. I I should have got the ball three different times on that possession. That's crazy. Here, Rozier, if you don't give me the goddamn ball. I, I just dunked on the Coro. They've got the paint locked down, which they should. I got like three offensive rebounds on one play and couldn't get a shot up, even with the pump fakes. But, bro, I'm sorry. I should have got that. Should have been three steals. I should be awarded with three steals from that possession. And I can't. Oh, my God. They're just tracking that down. There is no way that goes in. Uh, Terry. 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 Give me the ball, Terry. Thank you. That's a bucket. We're up by seven. All right, I'm going to sub that. We'll see if our bench can do their thing. That's, I think that's one of the reasons why we get such big leads when our bench is in the game is because, like real life, they're actually subbing in LaMelo when I'm not in the game or Aiton. And when I'm subbed in, they have LaMelo getting a rest. So that, I think, is a big reason on why our bench just dominates uh, when I'm out of the game, which is a good thing. We're up by 11 now, and you saw the sliders. This is a lot harder than Hall of Fame, and look at what you've seen me. You've seen what I've done to Hall of Fame, bro. I can win on 40 points, 40 point games on Hall of Fame. It ain't hard. And you may look at the score in this series and be like, man, that's unrealistic. There ain't no way this Hornet team should beat this Cavs team. I mean, look, look at it. I mean, historically, stuff like this has happened where the lower seed or the underdog that clearly doesn't look as good. Oh, my God, Nick Richards is nasty. Where the underdog hasn't looked um, good on paper against a certain team like this. But come playoff time, you just flip that imaginary switch and it is what it is. Look at the heat in the 2020 bubble. That team on paper was not better than the Bucks, was not better than the Celtics, but arguably not better than the Pacers. But they flipped the switch. They got all the way to the finals. I feel like this Hornets team is similar to that Heat team and the current Lakers team right now. Where at the trade deadline, we made trades that made us a million times better. Like that Aiton trade, I think, made us possible championship contenders in the Eastern Conference. A hundred percent. Because our big three and our supporting cast is really good as I throw up the floater. It's off. But Nick Richards, he missed. He almost got another offensive rebound. But, oh, that's a foul. But what, what an offensive rebound. I am struggling, though, shooting from the field. LaMelo Ball is going on his own little run right now. 6-0 run for LaMelo Ball himself. He's going nuts. Garris Garland, that's a fantastic pass. Honestly, I don't think that was a bad defensive possession from, by me. I came to help. Didn't think he could make the pass, but he did. And Cavs cut it back to 14. Brandon Boston, give that back to me. Now... Uh, why, Aiden, why do you always go set up for the post? I'm going to go around. That's a bad shot. That's a bad shot. No, I did not want to pull up, but it is what it is. I did hit the button a bit early, and I wasn't in the paint. There is Garland. Terrible shot, but he hits that. That's, that's nuts right there. I am 9 for 22. I was 9 for 21 before that. 
9 for 22, not great. Give it back to me, though. And this will be great from downtown. Cedric Lewis knocks down another one. Yeah, we, um, we've extended our lead a lot. 22-point lead for the Charlotte Hornets. I'm not touching the sliders anymore. They're already high enough as is. This is just the Cavaliers not doing much on offense and our defense just being complete lockdown. So, I ain't changing no more sliders. I feel like this is enough because when we go up against a team like the Bucks or like the Celtics, we might get wax. But clearly, this Cavaliers team ain't much for us. DeAndre Ayton, another dunk, throwing it down, extending the lead back to 21. Cedric Lewis, 36.7 rebounds, 8 assists. They're going to get a quick shot up before the end of the quarter, and they do, but it's not enough. 21 to, six, 21 to 60. A uh, 21 point game starting the fourth quarter. The Cavs are going on their own little run here. I've cut it to 11. Lamelo, please don't take that shot. No, 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 no. What are we doing? Lamelo, you got to pass that back. Thank you. The, uh, I should have had Aiton post up, but it's fine. Aiton cut to the basket. This should be an easy dunk for you, and it is. I thought they were going to force him into some bogus animation since Jared Allen was in the paint, but they don't. We can keep this lead at double digits. That is the goal here. We cannot allow this Cavs team to come back. Oh, my God. Nick Richards, another block. Big one on Donovan Mitchell. I gave that up to Brandon Boston, expecting him to be able to get open. I have Jared Allen on me. And I'm going to kick that to Brandon Boston. He's going to go up way too slow. But Nick Richards, what a play. Block on the other end. Offensive rebound and put back, back on the offensive end. This dude is the whole package right now in this series. Donovan Mitchell, he had a shot there. Decides not to take it. Trying to look for a better one. Brandon Boston, you got to get on your man. Got to get on your man, Brandon. Jared Allen setting the screen. Josh Koji in the paint. Nick Richards, he's going to foul. And with 13 seconds left, this is going to be another blowout victory for the Charlotte Hornets against the Cleveland Cavaliers. We're going to throw up a lot to Aiton. It gets completely denied. It don't matter, though. 89-107 to 107 is your final score in the Hornets are going to take a commanding 3 to nothing lead over the three-seeded Cavaliers. Major upset incoming? It looks like it. Final box score, Cedric Lewis, not a great shooting game from the field once again. 40 points, 8 rebounds, 15 assists, and 2 steals. Did have 4 turnovers in this game. 12 for 28 from the field, only 4 shots under 50%. Not awful, but a lot of those were from the 1 for 6 start. At the start of the game. Ever since I went 1 for 6. I went 11 for 22. So I went 50% after starting off the game. Super slow. So I'll take it. Same thing. I was 1 for 4 from 3. To start off the game. I went 3, 4, 5. I will take that. And hit 12. 3 throws. On top of that. LaMelo Ball. 22 points. 5 rebounds. 6 assists. He's been having a really good playoff run so far. Not shooting it well. So it's good that he had a good shooting game for once. Aiton had his first 20 point game of the playoffs he's been a rebounding machine brandon boston an okay start to his career in the playoffs six points i mean it's all right he didn't he didn't shoot awful he shot two for six nick richards the sat line doesn't do it justice what this man does he's not the greatest defensively at least on ball against jared allen jared allen can get by him pretty quickly but when it comes to rebounding and shot blocking this man is it 11 rebounds three blocks and he had three offensive rebounds and then the rest is the rest zach eddy he's been an okay he shoots way too much i gotta turn his shot tendency down for the Cavs, Donovan mitchell another struggle 20 points this time went above that 18 uh but once again eight for 24 four for 13 did not get to the line once so far i've held this man to 18 points on 31 percent shooting and 27 percent from three and that is going to continue garland actually had an okay game but clearly not scoring enough, only having 16 points, but he shot the ball very well and only had one turnover. Evan Mobley, their big men were the story of this game. Their big men were the reason why they were actually in this game uh, for the first half. Evan Mobley, 14 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals, and 2 blocks on good shooting. And Jared Allen, 13 points for 9 rebounds. They just need to take, especially Mobley. Mobley needs to take more shots if they're going to have a chance because Garland and Mitchell, you can already bet Mitchell ain't doing anything with me on him. Garland, he's starting to ease into it, but he has had a really bad series. So they got to really rely on their big men, and it hasn't been working. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG.